Hi Earthlings, I'm Therese. Do you find it hard to ignore your current reality? Would you love to make it a little bit easier? I have 11 tips that make it super easy to ignore your current reality. To check out the first five tips, click on the link right here. Tip number six, move that beautiful body. I know, if you're like me, I'm like, exercise? I know it's good for me, but sometimes it feels like such a drag to get myself to do it. And you know what Therese does? She works out for 10 minutes. And this idea of saying, we're gonna work out, we're gonna run on the treadmill for 10 minutes, makes even the laziest version of myself happy. And sometimes I'm truly only going to the gym for 10 minutes, but there is some magical thing that transpires very often. Is that I'm like, I think I can run five more minutes. So if you find exercise hard to do, <laughs> lower the bar. <laughs> if you do this often, give yourself a check. Don't you just feel more powerful when you feel fit and frisky in your body? Tip number seven, practice gratefulness. Gratefulness is one of the highest vibrations of the universe, right up there next to joy, peace, and enlightenment. And it is at our fingertips at all times. And when we can really connect to this juicy, abundant feeling, the prison walls of our current reality start to fade. And in its place is all the magic that surrounds us at all times. If we dare to look through the eyes of gratefulness, and darlings, this superpower is inside of you. So if there's only one tip that you take away, try implementing three minutes of gratefulness to start off your day. You can even do it while brushing your teeth. I'm so grateful that I have my own toothbrush, whatever it is. If you do this consistently, give yourself a check. Tip number eight, daydream. Now be honest, I wanna ask you a question. How much do you daydream? Put it in the comments below. When I was a kid, I used to literally daydream all the time. I would do it in detail. I'd be like picking out the outfit like I was literally shopping and paying for it to go on my imaginary date. But as time went on, I felt like daydreaming was wasting time, that I wasn't getting things done, that I wasn't putting my pedal to the proverbial metal. And I realized in this effort to be productive, I had vanquished a superpower that was at my disposal. So in the past couple years, I have brought it back into my playbook. And it is a game changer. It makes you see magic all around you. This is one of the things that I find makes ignoring your current reality so much easier because you can do it in the presence of the people that are driving you out of your mind. Do you know anybody that's a super negative Nancy? It could be a blue sky day and they're like, I think it's gonna rain. And sometimes those people are family members and there is just no way to artfully get away from them. So insert daydreaming. You don't have to be the chatty Kathy of the crowd. You could just be sit back playing your mental daydream in your head while still being pleasant and not sucked in to the negativity that surrounds you. And darlings, I'd say you could be so bold as to even use this in work meetings and when you're stuck at the doctor's office. So give yourself a check if you allow yourself to daydream often. Tip number nine, do something just for fun. This used to be very difficult for me. I played as a kid, but as I grew up and wanted to become successful, the fun started going away and I felt like I was goofing off and wasting time when I was just having fun, that I was never going to achieve my dreams or my level of success if I did that fun stuff. I had this epiphany of how wrong I was. If you think of everything that you want in terms of vibration, no matter what that dream is, there's a vibration to it and it's usually joyous, playful, exhilarating. And to get everything that you want, you need to be a vibrational match. Please let me know in the comments below if you have ever felt this way about it. Because for a whole year on my vision board, I had one thing, have fun. Give yourself permission to have fun, guilt-free. 
follow your bliss and it has paid me dividends. Now, I'm not saying if your idea of fun is going down to Gucci and maxing out your credit card, don't do that. Read a book, get your nails painted, have your hair done, something that's in the sustainable sphere of your current pocketbook. Having more fun will bring the vibration of your manifestation to you faster. So if you find that you already do this effortlessly, give yourself a check. Tip number 10. This really helps when I am at my wits end. I think things are never gonna get better. I remember this essential, eternal, never changing truth. This too shall pass. And I visualize it like the clouds in the sky. It works beautiful at the doctor's office, when I'm sick in bed, when I am crazy overwhelmed, reminding myself that this is just temporary. And the only thing that will make it last longer is me latching onto it with my attention and my emotion. So when you're in the throes of things and you just can't escape it, do you practice this awareness of impermanence? If so, give yourself a check. Tip number 11, breathe. As simple as this sound, I found that this is the most effective tool when things are super crappy, when you're having a fit of it, when you are trapped in an environment that you don't wanna be in. Excuse yourself to the bathroom, zip on into one of the stalls, and then take big, deep belly breaths. I like to sit down because if you do it consistently over and over, you get lightheaded in and out, in and out. I got this tip from the Hoff method and I will link his video in the description below. It makes your brain so tingly and fuzzy with a new feeling of energy that you stop feeling hijacked or at code orange alert. I don't know if this is how you guys are, but sometimes I get too impatient to breathe. So that's why this works for me the best when I'm really in the heart of it because that's when the time I need some extra love. Do you do this? If so, give yourself a check. And now it's time to tally how attached you are to this current reality and how easy it is it for you to shift to your desired reality. And of course, guys, this is just for fun. And for me, it is a good reminder to point out if I am feeling stuck, I can come back here and look at all the steps and see where I lack and gain that superpower. If you played along with me, how many check marks do you have? If you have over six check marks, my assumption is it's pretty easy for you to ignore your current reality. And the less checks that you have, the much harder it is. It makes this world look so fixed, so permanent, like your life has already been decided. And if that's you, I can think of nothing more valuable than harnessing more stuff on this list so you can manifest your dreams faster. Because you're like, I have no energy to do that. Pick the easiest one. You can do it. I believe in you. I believe in you. And you have nothing to lose except for frustration and ickiness and only your dream life to gain. Now, if you like this video, we do me a favor and just sprinkle some love on that like button because it helps me more than you know. I wanted to give you a little channel update. First things first, the content. What am I gonna be producing? I am going to continue to produce my Law of Attraction videos and I have some merry watchers who I adore who have requested financial planning videos. And even though those don't perform well, I am still gonna give you what you want because I adore you. So there is going to be financial videos, one a month. So if you have a specific request of what type of video you would like to see, just leave it in the comments below because I am gonna set you up for a year of success. And fun fact about trees, I love experimenting. And recently I found a big money block inside me, an abundance block. And so I have fallen down the rabbit hole of how to fix that feng shui in my house and retraining my subconscious mind, which has led me to hypnosis, ASMR, and meditations. So every once in a while, you will see some of those on my channel. 
and you'll tell me if you like them or not by if you watch them or not. So now the schedule. I am going to be uploading my regular schedule every Wednesday and Sunday at 6.15 Eastern Standard Time. But these experimental videos, these fun extra videos, will be uploaded on a Friday at 6.15 Eastern Standard Time. Not every week, but just as my imagination allows. Now I need your help. I have been watching my friend, The Content Bug, and she says you have to have super great quality videos. And that started putting a little bit of insecurity into me. I'm like, I don't know what to do to make them higher quality. So specifically, what do you guys think of my lighting? <laughs> and more specifically, what do you think of the video quality? Because really guys, I'm filming on my son's iPad. I don't have any fancy dancy camera and it looks good to me, but maybe I'm just too close to the project. So if you could help a girl out, give me your thoughts. I would really appreciate it. And until next time, ciao.